From Ash Barty's Wimbledon victory to Melbourne's drought-breaking premiership, 2021 was for the true believers. But with COVID biting yet again, it was also a year of disruptions, change and controversy. Clint Stanaway takes a look back at some of the year's biggest sporting moments. Growing up, we're always told to dream big. And on a grey London day, all of Ash Barty's dreams came true at once. Australia's Ash Barty is Wimbledon champion. 50 years since her idol clinched her first Wimbledon crown, Ash had joined the most famous club in tennis. I just, um, I hope I made Yvonne proud. You did. Demon fans also found themselves in dreamland. After 57 long years, the Demons are premiers. This drought-breaking victory was won for the true believers. <laughs> Wins also taste extra sweet when you've been written off. And if you listen to the critics, Australia's T20 cricketers weren't meant to get close. But when their dreams became a reality... A team that can never, ever be written off. And have finally got their hands on a men's T20 World Cup trophy. There was one hell of a party. <laughs> and Phil Mickelson proved you're never too old to dream. Phil defeats Father Time. At 50, he became the oldest winner of the PGA Championship. This is just an incredible feeling because I, I just believed that, that it was possible, but yet everything was saying it wasn't. But 2021 wasn't all straightforward. COVID made sure of that. Ladies and gentlemen, with Victoria government restrictions, you must be home by 11.59 p.m. tonight. From the tennis to the footy, stadiums and arenas sat empty as our major sporting codes hightailed it out of Melbourne. Thankfully, there was sport to distract us all from another winter lockdown. And in Tokyo, a gold rush. Gold! To become we can start the celebration for Australia. He's into the final. The Boomers have claimed the bronze medal. It's time to bring an Olympic medal home so I can hang it up at mum and dad's house. Dylan Alcott completed the Golden Slam of tennis with all four majors and Paralympic gold in the same year. True He's earned that, right? There was double delight for Melbourne City, winners of the Premier's Plate and A-League Championship. And the captain puts his side on top! But the most passionate celebration was on Ligon Street when Italy claimed the Euros. <laughs> Naomi Osaka's mental health struggles were laid bare with the Grand Slam champion forced to take time out. OK, I think we're just going to take a quick break. Eddie Betts headlined a cavalcade of footy stars saying goodbye. Nathan Buckley had no choice, sacked as Collingwood coach. I've had a fair crack at it um, and everyone has its time, every relationship, every person has their time and, and mine has come. And after a rocky few months, Seti Maguire also flew the pie's nest. I try my best and I don't always get it right, but I don't stop trying. While Alistair Clarkson's reign at Hawthorne ended after four premierships. He had to come back for a second go to get my out here. <laughs> <laughs> now for a new era under Sam Mitchell. Ollie Wines proved a popular winner of the Brownlow medal as the grand final entered the twilight zone. And hats off to Perth, this was a showstopper. Virtually unbeatable all season, Melbourne Storm fell short, shocked in the prelim. It's with Penrith, they've got the ball and they've got the preliminary final. The Panthers joining a long list of champions in a year when winning was celebrated as much, if not more, than any other. I'm on top of the world. But one of the biggest victories of all belonged to soccer player Josh Cavallo. This emotional admission from the Melbourne-born A-League star grabbed world headlines and with it, the world was lifted from the young man's shoulders. There's something personal that I need to share with everyone. I'm a footballer and I'm gay. 
there'd be no shortage of controversies either. What I said was racism and it's totally unacceptable. Be it on the footy field or in Aussie cricket. I've been blessed with a wonderful, loving and supportive family and it breaks my heart to know how much that I've let them down. Tim Payne forced to walk as Captain Cummins got his big chance. Yeah, mum and dad were, were super excited. Um, yeah, there was a few tears. And to this day, the Ben Simmons saga drags on. A stalemate that's already cost the Boomer star tens of millions of dollars. Just because we pay certain guys a, 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 a lot of money doesn't mean you're a great player. You should want to be a better basketball player because that's your profession. That's your job. Then that one day in December. The Premiership Cup in all its glory, admired by a sea of Demons fans and Demon legends who'd missed the chance to see it happen live. 35,000 back at the home. We didn't just bring it home, we're bringing it home next year as well. Not to mention an extraordinary finish to the Formula One season. No, no, mate, that was so not right. As Max beat Lewis right at the death. Hamilton season coming, it's a late lunch by Verstappen who takes the lead of the race. It's been another glittering year in the world of sport. Oh my goodness, he's reached into the pocket. Oh, no. There's been bumps. <laughs> There's been brawls. Tempers have flared in Throwdown 13. And there's been belly laughs. <laughs> Here we go. You can reach in. <laughs> oh no, look out. What a mistake. Can you believe that happened? You could say it's the stuff of dreams. Just ask Ash. Dare to dream. That's, that's all. Just put it out into the universe and you never quite know what can happen. Clint Stanaway. Nine News.